Season 10, Top 18, let's go. All right, so we have a lot to get through today. We have the results, we have the solos, we have the performances. Let's start talking about it. Your judges, your judges, your judges are Nigel, Mary, and Christina Applegate. And your bottom three guys were Carlos, Jade, and Alan. Bottom three girls, Mariah, Brittany, and um, Mackenzie. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so they ended up letting go Carlos and Brittany. After watching the solos, I was like, what? What did Nigel mean by saying that they didn't give it their all? I really thought that Brittany had a great solo for a ballroom dancer. She did a cartwheel in heels. And Carlos' solo was great. So I was like, what are you talking about? You let go both of the dancers that I would have kept. Uh, so I was a little disappointed. And then, have, and then seeing them have to do these routines again, uh, I felt bad for them. But I kind of like how they, they're doing the results at the beginning. Kind of get out of the way. It's kind of, I like that better. I think it's a better format. Uh, they did a group dance too. And it was to Moonrise Kingdom soundtrack. I actually love that movie. So I was very intrigued. Uh, it was obvious that it was Ty Diario who did it. Um, a lot was going on, but I still enjoyed it. Let's start talking about the performances now. Haley and Curtis started off the night. They danced a Ray Leaper jazz piece. And I thought, the first thing that I wrote was, um, this is not the level that I expect Soothing Dance to be. Um, yeah, it's kind of a good opener, but I was left underwhelmed. And it was kind of forgettable towards the end of the night. And all a lot of the other dances... Uh, we're better than this one, so I don't know if they'll be safe, to be honest. We'll have to see. Jasmine H. and Aaron were next. They danced a Nappy Taz lyrical hip-hop routine, and this couple is awesome. At first, I thought it started off a little bit slow, but towards the end, wow. The chemistry was top-notch. Off the charts, uh, I thought they had everything down. They were really in sync. It was really believable. Uh, and they drew me in, so I, I really liked this piece. I thought it was one of the best of the night, and uh, congratulations, you guys. Melise and Jade were next to dance Bollywood piece by Nikul Dev Mahajan, and I actually did a Bollywood class, and it was so much harder than it looks on TV. Um, and I know they say that all the time, but wow. It's like you have to make it seem like you're doing it subconsciously, but there's so much involved and all these little intricate movements and all you have to keep everything with a smile and go and go and keep everything high energy and keep everyone's spirits high and it's like wow that's like you're asking a lot and I think they did a great job um, at times I did think that they weren't as smooth as they could have been but I mean it's their first time doing it I think it was very respectable Nico and Alexis were next to dance a contemporary piece choreographed by Stacy Tukey and this was a continuation from the piece from season seven. Catherine and Robert danced. It was a soldier piece, but it was the woman going off to war. Um, I really didn't feel the continuation part. I just thought it was like a brand new contemporary dance. I don't know if I, I just didn't connect with the story. Um, it's just, that's how it looked to me. Uh, I thought Alexis was impressive. Obviously this is not her genre. And I was impressed. Uh, the chemistry, I don't know if it was entirely there. Um, I'm happy they got saved. I'm happy that they uh, can dance another week. Um, but, again, this one kind of left me kind of eh, too. Blueprint and Britney were next, and they danced a Spencer Lift Broadway piece. Spencer Liff is an awesome choreographer. I like his Broadway pieces. I think they're entertaining and they're unique. Um, and this was no exception. Brittany, tremendous. I can't believe they let you go. I didn't talk about you in the last two reviews that I did. Not enough. And I got called out on it. And I, I deserve to be called out on it because you were great. And I am, it's like, you want what you can't have. I really wish that she was kept. And I was like, oh, that sucks. I couldn't keep my eyes off her. I wasn't really watching Bru Blueprint this time. I was more focused on seeing, wow, this is who we let go. Um, so... Uh, Blueprint, I guess, gets a pass. I do like Blueprint, though, and uh, I think he's doing an okay job, just not to the, at the speed that they want. Jasmine Mason and Alan were next to dance an Argentine tango choreographed by Miriam and Leonardo, and I think that this dance was great. It was intense. It was full of passion. Mary kept on saying passion, and I had written in my notes 
and then Mary had to steal my word. But yes, full, full, full of passion. Argentine Tango is so difficult. They had so many lifts in this, and they cut it down, and they made it seem like it was easy to do. And it's definitely not easy. The, they have to be so intense, looking at each other, the connection has to be there, and for us to believe it, and I believed it. So, great job. Mackenzie and Paul were next, and they dance a jazz piece choreographed by Sean Cheeseman. And I liked this one. I really liked it. Uh, it started off, again, a little bit slow. Some of the routines started off a little slow for me, but then it definitely picked up. Uh, they were in sync. They had uh, the, the chemistry I thought was real. Um, another kind of sensuous, naughty routine uh, today, but I liked it. I was entertained. I thought uh, the end was good, and it was a good piece of choreography, so well done, you guys. Mariah and Carlos were next, and they danced a Stacey Tukey contemporary piece, and again, I think they made a mistake with letting Carlos go. I really thought Jade should have been the one to go, uh, and, it, and it's unfortunate that Carlos has to be the one to go. Mariah was definitely believable. Her solo was not good. It really wasn't, and I was really upset when they kept Mariah over Brittany, but uh, this piece was kind of redemption for her. She did really perform. I believed it uh, when she was on his shoulders. I was like, okay, yeah, I feel it. Um, so you redeemed yourself, but bring it in the solos next time because it just felt like you were dancing in a club. Amy and Fiction were next and they danced a Nappy Tabs hip hop piece. They were bell hops. This was great. This was fresh. This was a fun piece of choreography. I really enjoyed it. I liked being brought back to authentic hip-hop. Uh, I thought, in general, they got it down. It was nice to see Amy let loose and do something different other than contemporary. And Fiction's becoming one of my favorites. This piece, in general, was one of my favorites of the night, and I, uh, I thought they did good. They're like my favorite couple, so yeah, I thought they did good. Finally, Jenna and Tucker ended off the night. They danced a cha-cha piece choreographed by Dimitri Chaplin, and I kind of agree with Nigel on this one. He said that this piece kind of looked like um, a blended form of ballroom. There was no real distinction that this was a cha-cha. It just kind of felt like a ballroom piece. And once it starts to blend, we lose that aspect of so you think you can dance. So, um, but that's like a huge that you, Nigel should have told Dimitri that off to the side instead of calling him out like that girl did in Vegas saying that Jade wasn't a good partner. That's what Nigel did to Dimitri. So uh, he really should have, he shouldn't have done that. He should have told uh, Dimitri, hey, if you're gonna choreograph again, maybe you should like stick to cha-cha roots. Uh, anyways, I thought this piece was okay. It didn't leave me excited that So You Thinking Dance was on, um, but I mean, it was okay. All right, guys, that's the end of my review. Let me know if you agree with me. Uh, what was your favorite? My favorite was uh, Aaron and Jasmine, uh, the hip-hop, and I really liked the Argentine tango along with the hip-hop piece. Uh, worst one, I don't know, hmm, the first one. <laughs> it was definitely the first one. I think Haley and Curtis are definitely in trouble. Uh, let me know what you think. Okay. <laughs> Peace.